Howdy folks, how are we doing? Now you remember a few videos ago, um, I've got a front linkage delivered. Um, now I asked the question whether it was going to go on the fast track or the TW. Well, I bought it with the intention of putting it on this, on the fast track. Um, because the TW has already got its weights, you know, it's got belly weights and front weights already, so that's not really needed front linkage. But this, um, I haven't got any weights for it, and uh, it's an ideal candidate to stick a front linkage on it. So. Um, Basically, let's uh, offer it up and see how it fits, shall we? Now this linkage come with a, basically a frame, a big frame that's probably about five foot long, that um, bolted on here at either side, because <coughs> uh, it was on a Massey Fergie 6480. Um, well, I don't need any of, none of that, because um, the fast track is a full frame design, which basically means I've got a chassis all the way forward here, so all all of this metal work here is is strong and is bolt on, you know I can bolt it onto it so um whereas like the masses I'm sure that massive lot like of New Orleans have got a stressed engine block so the engine block forms part of the chassis it's you know it's it's a structural component whereas on this the coming 6BT just sits in the chassis if you know what I mean the chassis does the chassis is where the strength is so um, let's get this uh, lifted up and uh, see how it fits. So that looks pretty good, I reckon. That is about where I want it. I've got a load of bolt holes on the back of there. And I think that's about the height I want it. I've measured it compared to the T7, obviously, we've got that's got front linkage. So I roughly know the operating range I want. And basically, if I drill a hole, get the mag drill out, drill a hole through there, Brace this up with some, um, you know, some bits of steel just to make this bit of steel here stronger so it don't bend. Weld that in. So get that hole bolted in there, and then there's one. Well, you probably can't see. There's one in there as well. It's a bit dark there, isn't it? But um, there's another one there. Drill that through as well with our mag drill, so that'll be bolted to twice there. Now I've got this top bar here. Which obviously is not at the minute, not allowing the linkage. I'll come around here, you might see a bit better. I'm struggling with light at the minute. Um, is not allowing it to sit flush on that bit of steel. So, what I'm going to do, I don't think I've even got to cut all of this tube out, but just cut a notch there so that these two bits of steel they'll slide in. I'll either have to cut the whole way through, or I might, like I say, I might be able to leave that bit of back there. And then once that sits flush there, weld, weld that in both sides, so then that'll be all sitting flush. Then all I've got to do is um, fix the bottom, and I'll probably be able to use some of the um, uh, some of the frame that come with the linkage to um, you know, make a bracket here, come off these um, towing eye points here, you know, recovery points here. But I've got loads of steel there that's you know, perfect, I mean look at it, there's loads of steel there um, to brace this bottom bit and that'll be on that'll be superb give it a fresh coat of paint so it's not got uh, Massey Fergie red in it and uh, that'll look uh, that'll look sweet one thing I have got to do, whether I um, I don't know if I can hold on a minute Now one thing I have got to do, now I've took that uh, ram out, you can see there we've got elongated holes there, which is not good. Um, I'll sort them out as well, but the main, <laughs> the main issue is these blocks here. As you can see there's what, a couple of mil there, if we're lucky. The other side is the same. Um, yeah, I mean you wouldn't dare put any weight on this at the minute because it just pulls straight through them. They are poor, so 
they'll have to be cut off um, and I'll just make some new ones because these are two bits of steel welded together anyway which is not ideal so cut them off um, get some new chunky steel again mag drill the hole through and um, that'll be fine top ones are all right it's just where it's been pivoting on the bottom it's really really killed that um, hole isn't it so um, yeah well, so we're lucky it didn't uh, it didn't give up the ghost you know when it had whatever it had on it last so that's pretty much anything I've got to do to um, the linkage itself I'm happy with that. I ain't gonna take too much fettling at all to get it on there, I don't think. Um, I mean, it's only got single acting rams on it at the minute, which basically, for those that, um, you know, I know, I know that not everyone who watches the channel is engineering minded or agriculturally minded. Single acting ram means it's only powered one way, so you've only got the one port, so basically, it, um, it'll um, power up, but it's gravity down. But to be fair, um, what's it going to be doing? It's going to be carrying a weight rock most of the time. It um, might have it on the baler and it might carry the uh, the, the squisher wheels. Um, but again, they only require um, being put in float when, when in use. So um, single acting is not the end of the world. But I'll keep my eye out for a, a set of double acting. Um, you know, it'll, it might come in handy at some point. But... Uh, like I say, we've got the, it's piped up to go to the back at the minute, which is how it come. But, I have got a set of steel hydraulic pipes going here. Now, I've not actually traced them yet. Um, I've not got under there and traced where they go, but um, that is a possibility to run this front linkage off of them. You know, I've got double acting capability, off, obviously off of them lot. Like, um, but I'd need the rams to do that anyway. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, happy with that. Really happy with that. Well, that's so all I need now, really, is a day to um, get that fitted. Should, should take too much work, I don't think. Um, yeah, we're happy with that. And it looks... I know, I know it's getting dark now, you can't really see, but... It'll look fine on there, like, really will. Um, and it'll, you know... I'll get myself a bumper for it, or a front weight block. And it's just so easy to put weights on and off them, isn't it? Or, you know. So... Um, yeah, so at least you know what's happening happening with it and where we're at with it. Um, let me know in the comments below that if you want me to, I mean, I presume a lot of you will, want me to do a video of, of you know, in the process of fitting it and all that sort of stuff. Although I always find them videos really tricky because it takes such a long time and to get, um, to get it edited, you know, get a video edited down so that it's watchable and... Um, it's not easy. It's re it, I've, I've done it before, and it's really tricky to get a, you know, a compact video of a job that takes a long time to do. But um, let me know in the comments anyway if you want me to see it, see me fitting it to it. Um, so I think that'd be quite interesting. You know, a bit of welding, a bit of cutting, a bit of mag drilling. Um, job be good. So yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little video. Love the old UTV uh, lights. They do look tidy, don't they? That's just the um, uh, the DRLs, the daylight running lights, and LED, obviously. They look sweet, don't they? So, um, anyway, hope you enjoyed that little video. I'm off to go and get my tea, because it's um, Wednesday night, fish and chip night. And, uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Ta-ta!